In this video, we will look at how and even why you should take a baseline. A baseline is a snapshot of your project. It will include all of your durations, your dates, resources, costs, everything in your project at the point when you take that baseline. So the perfect time to do this, and this is definitely a point when you should do this, is when you're at the point where your project has been created, everything's in place and you've gone to the client and they're also happy. Because now what you want to do is keep a set in stone point of reference as to what the project originally looks like. That way, whether you're behind or ahead of schedule, anything can happen to your live projects, but you've always got that baseline as a reference as to where things should have been according to the original plan. To create this baseline, what we do is we go up to the project tab at the top, click the baseline manager, and then on the right hand side, we go to new. Give the baseline a name. So in this case, I'm just going to call it contract. Optionally, I can put in a description, but this tick box here, this is quite important to take note of. I can optionally embed the baseline in the live file. What that means in practice is your project file. So this, this file data that's going on in the background here, that's a file on my C drive. And that might be, for example, four megabytes in size. If I embed the baseline, that four megabyte file will become an eight megabyte file because it is literally taking a snapshot of my live project and stuffing it into the exact same file. Now for a smaller project that's on my C drive, that's not really so much of a problem. If you've got a much larger project, or if you're taking, let's say you might be taking baseline every month for progress tracking, I wouldn't recommend embedding all those baselines. Instead, what you'd want to do is keep this unticked and what it will do then is it will create a separate file. So you'll have the live project file and then you'll have the baseline file as two separate files, but in the same folder still on, on your C drive or your network drive, wherever you're storing it. What I'm gonna do in this example is I'm gonna tick this box to embed the baseline. When I click next, what it will do now is it will actually come up with a little warning, kind of mirroring what I've just said here. So embedding the baseline data inside your project will increase its file size, which obviously only with a larger project, not so much a smaller one, may prevent it from being emailed. I'm okay with that, I'm going to click okay. One other thing that I would be wary of if you're gonna start embedding baselines in the file data as well, is if you're storing files in, for example, network drives or uh, OneDrive storage, and PowerProject loses sight of the file data, so it could be, as a really bad example, you could yank the network cable out the back of your computer, for example. Uh, so you've still got power projects open, but it's completely lost connection to that file data. If you've not got a completely stable location to that folder, uh, or to that file rather, I would recommend against embedding baseline data. On this next screen, I'm going to set it to all tasks in the current view. If I'd selected a handful of tasks, so it might be, for example, that I've retrospectively added some activities into my project, I could select them and then I could highlight this uh, bottom option here. But in this case, I'm just gonna baseline everything in my view. If I now click next, I just get like a little confirmation screen of what's gonna happen. Click finish, it'll create my baseline for me. If I now close my baseline manager, we can see I've got all these little yellow tasks underneath my live activities. I can click on them. I can't move them around. I can't do anything with them. I can't adjust the dates, the durations. And even if I go into the properties for this activity, you can see that everything's grayed out. I can't modify any of this information. With the live task, however, this can still move. The dates can move, the durations can move, but this is always going to retain its original dates from where I created that baseline. What this will mean later down the line is if the project ends up, I don't know, being delayed uh, at any point in time, I can always look back and see the variance between my live and my baseline dates. I can always track where I should have been compared to where I am now. And you can even set up your, your columns in the spreadsheet to show that information. Thank you for watching this tutorial video.